Hello and welcome to today's video on relative mass so let's just get started. These are the three definitions that you need to know for relative mass. You might have been told different definitions for each one of them by your teacher but these are the ones given by the official AQA revision guide so these are the ones I'm going to use today. Uh, so first we have the relative atomic mass or you can write that as AR not to be confused with uh, anything else or argon it is wrote like that um, and this is the average mass of an atom of an element on a scale where an atom of carbon 12 is 12 okay so the next definition is the relative isotopic mass and this is the mass of an atom of an isotope of an element on a scale where an atom of carbon 12 is 12 and the last one is the relative formula mass, otherwise known as MR, is the mass of a formula unit on a scale where an atom of carbon-12 is 12. Uh, you can replace relative formula mass with the words relative molecular mass. Um, and then the definition would be the relative molecular mass, or MR, is the mass of a molecule on a scale where an atom of carbon-12 is 12. Uh, so that's basically all the definitions you need to know and we'll just go um, over how you figure out MR. So for example we could have carbon 2, hydrogen 6 and a oxygen and to figure that out we would do 2 times the AR of carbon which is 12 uh, plus uh, 6 hydrogen so the AR of um, hydrogen is 1, so 1 times 6, uh, and then there is 1 oxygen, and the AR of that is 16, uh, and that would give you 46, so the MR of this would be 46. So let's move on to this little thing over here, and this is the, mex the, the mass spectrometer. I really can't say that word. I've been trying to say it a gazillion times, but it's called that. <laughs> so just call it that. So uh, this uh, little device here is used to tell you the relative atomic mass, the relative molecular mass, uh, the relative isotopic abundance, uh, or sometimes the molecular structure um, and that is basically what that is but you need to know every uh, single stage to it um, for the exam so let's just go through it now this is stage one and it's called vaporization and basically a sample is put into the machine uh, and it is turned into a gas or we could say it has been vaporized using an electrical heater so this is this stage here the second stage is called ionization uh, and ionization does what it says on the tin but I'll give it a little explanation so the gas particles are bombarded with high energy electrons to ionize them electrons are knocked off the particles leaving positive ions so the sample goes in here and basically it's bombarded with high energy electrons uh, and that means that the, elect uh, the sample's electrons are knocked off and it makes them into a positive ion. Uh, yeah, so that's what happens in the ionization stage. You could say that the sample is being ionized. Uh, the third stage is acceleration. It's... Um, not a very big stage other than uh, the positive ions are accelerated by an electric field so whoosh they go down to this part here which is deflection this is probably the longest part or the longest explanation so the positive ions paths are altered with a magnetic field so this here is the magnetic field um, and the lighter ions have less momentum and are deflected more than the heavier ions. So here we are, there is 
the sample and the ions have been uh, the sample has been ionized and so the heavier ions are less deflected um, than the lighter ions and then basically uh, for a given magnetic field only ions with a particular mass charge ratio make it to the detector so mass charge ratio is shown as m z ratio um, and the the machine can be set so that uh, it can detect a particular um, Z ratio or the it can detect different ones different MZ ratios um, and so the detection stage is the fifth stage over here and this can be described as the magnetic field strength is being slowly increased and um, the charges um, the mass charge ratio changes um, so that the ions can reach the detector and a mass spectrum is produced. A mass spectrum is just basically the graph of uh, the samples um, and it gives you some uh, information about what your sample has. So that's uh, the first video on relative mass. I'll go over the actual uh, mass spectrum um, in the next video and I hope to see you again soon.